okay, Spanish is a beautiful language, and I'm sure the teacher will understand. You're gonna be fine, okay? Can you not speak in English today? Okay, it's fine. You know what? You don't even have to present. No what? fair! Everybody quiet down. I can't grade her if I don't understand her. Gracias, gracias, profe. You know, you've been handling having to speak a different language like a champ. Well, thank you. It was actually kind of hard because I... Wait, you're speaking English now. But that is only possible if... If we're soulmates. Mi idioma es el español. Wear my soulmate's clothes or speak my soulmate's first language until I meet them. I don't feel like changing my style, so I'm going to go with this one. Hopefully I don't regret it. Sweetie, you want some cereal? No, gracias, mamá. Debo ir ahora. Since when do you know Spanish? Ay, mamá. What is going on? Su alma gemela debe hablar español. I don't know that much Spanish. What are you saying? No importa. Mejor me voy. Hey, girl. Are you good? No, mires. Why are you speaking? Oh, well, hey, at least I'm fluent in Spanish so I can understand you. Tengo presentación. Test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes. Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, second. hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's going to need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times 2, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you 9. How did she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably- Watch it, Crystal! Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh. Hello. Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Oh. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Help. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. Are you feeling all right now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills, if you stop taking them, you... You what? You... you die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is gonna be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... <laughs> Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay, I, I can't feel pain. Oh.
Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. Can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No. Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my... Amber Alert, missing girl from 2018, shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. 
I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're gonna take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then we'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. So... Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No, help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Paca got what he deserved. Please let it be a new car. I really need a new car. A necklace? You know what? Maybe it'll be a diamond necklace. I mean, it's not a diamond necklace, but it's kind of cute, I guess. Guess my gift. I got a brand new car. Really? That's great. I know. So what'd you get? I got, um, spiders. What? Where? Where did you put them? Ugh. Whoa, chill. There's no spiders. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm super afraid of them. Does this thing tell me what people are afraid of or something? So for dinner, I was thinking we could go to... what? You're cheating on me? Uh, I, uh... We're done. Babe, but I... Uh, mm-mm. We're done. Hey, is mom back home yet? No. What's wrong? Well, I've had a horrible day and I just wanted to talk to... You good? You're pregnant? How do you... How did you find out? You found my pregnancy test, didn't you? Were you snooping in my room? No, I, I swear I wasn't. Really? Well, then how do you know? I have my ways, but don't turn this around on me. You're the one who did the dirty. Shut up! I never meant for this to happen. Didn't you say your boyfriend moved out of state? Yeah, because of this. Really? Yes, he took off as soon as he found out the news. I told you, he wasn't a good guy. I know. What am I gonna do? Look, I think that your first step is... For you to tell mom the truth. Mom's plane just landed. She's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Uh, I'm so nervous. Hey, we're gonna tell her together, okay? Hey, girls! Did you miss me? We did, but listen, um, Jenna has something she needs to tell you. Okay, what, Jenna? Well, mom, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I... She's not feeling well, like, at all. So, um, I'm gonna go take her into my room and, uh, go take care of her. What are you doing? Ow! You think mom kidnapped us because the magic necklace told you so? Yes. Well, it didn't say kidnapped exactly. It just said that we weren't her kids. Come on. What if we're adopted? Why wouldn't she tell us that then? We're basically both adults now. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go talk to her. No, Jenna, wait. Mom, don't listen to anything Jenna tells you. She is super delusional right now. Relax. Jenna already told me everything. And the truth is, girls, you both were abandoned on my doorstep. What? what? Yes. Jenna, you were just one years old, and honey, you were just a baby. I didn't have the heart to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Guess that explains why you don't have any pregnancy photos with us. Or pictures with Dad. Jenna, we're gonna help you raise this baby together. And from now on, no more secrets. Give the pizza guy a tip. <gasps> you good? Kaylee, what's wrong? I'll tell you later. Let's just say, he's not getting any of this. Come on! Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. 
Hey. Sissy, hi. Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you. <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie, it's just you. What? No. Listen, it's going to be okay. I'm going to visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are going to take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted... Susie, what does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seemed so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. <gasps> hey! You are not to leave this room. No, we... <coughs> Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid, what? Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna... That's enough talking. We are sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you. It's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo! How are you doing that? Powers detected. Sissy, stop! FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No use in powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. You let her go! You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No! Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But, Dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. Tricked ya. What? If I adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's going to adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. 
Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Aw, oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you... They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But... Hush. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today, and so many articles have been written. I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. I'm not going to use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. You found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much. But I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you. <sighs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. 
I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you, too. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never just any American Girl stuff. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranates! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's Sugar Daddy Girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing! Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with your doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000.
How much did your teacher give you? 145 k to cover the surgery. Rena, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey, you're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Ugh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> Yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> see how much mommy and daddy love me, or see how much are in their bank account? I already know mommy and daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. <gasps> wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm going to get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is one million dollars. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV. They said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. No, I just gotta call this number. What the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick, and I am leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological daughter. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now. And I'm so sorry about all of this. 
Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, please. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion, exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest. And we'll be here when you wake up. Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two... <gasps> what? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But, Mom... Don't argue with me on this one. Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I'm the queen and what I say goes. Now, if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on. I got no, it. No, no, wait. That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I... No, please don't look at that. But, princess, I... Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, your majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark. I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. <laughs> My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the soulmate handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. 
Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, Princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <laughs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you... You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not going to find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No. It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. 
Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you, you die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William. Elizabeth. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the? Uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye, guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. What the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right, and you've worked very hard to get here, so don't blow it. I can't. 
Idiot, show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark, not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you... Hey, it's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 98? W what's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we... Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! <laughs> hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really going to miss... Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it, if that's okay. Oh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, girl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. <sighs> Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Hi. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right, and you've worked very hard to get here, so don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot, show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark, not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you... Hey, it's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 
98? W what's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we- Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! <sighs> hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss... <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. That's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, Curl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> stay back. <laughs> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. <sighs> Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Greenheart Kingdom has gotten more powerful, and their king has vowed to capture you. Oh my gosh, Mom, I told you I can protect myself. No, we're joining forces with another kingdom. What kingdom? The Blue Heart Kingdom. You are to marry their prince. Son, their kingdom needs our help. I'm not marrying Bree from the Red Heart Kingdom. This is stupid. If you bring him here, I'm not speaking to him. At least give him a chance. No, literally everyone knows that people from the Blue Heart Kingdom are stuck up, sloppy, and they don't even wear their kingdom's colors. Like, who does that? Stop it. Go over there. Princess, it is a pleasure to meet you. And may I introduce my son, Prince Devin. <clears throat> Say hello. Hello, Bree. Hello, Devin. You can't force me to marry him. I'm sorry, but we need his kingdom's protection from the green heart. No, we don't. We can protect ourselves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have a little word with the prince. Honey, wait. Devin, your majesty, your help is no longer required, so, um, you guys can just go. Great, come on, dad, let's get out of here. Son, now wait just a minute. We agreed you two would be married. I didn't agree to anything. Yeah, neither did I. So, goodbye, Prince Devin. It was really nice meeting you. Yeah, real nice. What's up with you two? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Just, um, have a safe trip home. I still can't believe you did that. Well, Mom, actually, I've been thinking a lot about the prince, because yesterday when we touched, my heart... My queen! The green hearts! They're here! Stay in this room. Mom, is that you? 
Surprise. You're... The King of Green Hearts. Sorry to tell you, your guards didn't make it. Why are you doing this? What do you want? Revenge. Your father stole your mother from me. She was supposed to be my wife. What? You have to let that go. My father passed away years ago. I know, which means there's no one left to protect you. Your powers are no match for mine. You're coming with me, and you're never going to see your mother again. You came back. Listen, when I shook your hand, I felt something. I did too. I think somehow we created a new power. Or maybe our powers are stronger together. That could be the way we defeat this guy. Here, give me your hand. Hey, moron. Come and get us. Now. No! The Green Hearts have been defeated, and the wedding is off. But honey, the legend says if two people's heart colors mix together, that means they're soulmates. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you, and if, you know, you want to come back and visit me, you're more than welcome to. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess! What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not! I'm being serious! Save it! My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger! Let go of me, I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. <sighs> oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> <sighs> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two... <gasps> What? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But, Mom... Don't argue with me on this one. 
Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I'm the queen and what I say goes. Now, if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on. I got no, it. No, no, wait. That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I... No, please don't look at that. But, princess, I... Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, your majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark. I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. <sighs> She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the soulmate handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. <gasps> no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny, Yay. and one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you 
questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter. She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food. This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye! Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come, Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? Yeah, of course, here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter. It's got to be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with this status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter. You'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. Bye. Good luck at the ball. <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. You're... Prince Anthony, yes. Please, excuse me. I was trying to find my soulmate. Your Highness, wait. I... I believe that I'm your soulmate. You are? Yes. Would you like to see my letter? No need. Those letters are my father's idea. To be honest, I find them a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I sort of think that if someone is right for you, you'll just know. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh my gosh, Anthony. please dance with me. Maybe we should go somewhere a little more. <laughs> Private. So, what do you do for fun? Fun? Yes, during your free time. I don't really have much free time. My mother, she's very strict. My father is too. He never lets me leave the castle. You should be allowed to explore your kingdom. I tried to explain that to him, but he never listens. My mother never listens to me either. How could someone not listen to a sweet person like- There she is! There she is. That's the girl. Olivia? Don't act shocked. You know her? Oh, she knows me, your highness, and I would stay away from her. What are you doing? There are claims you have lied about your soulmate letter. That's not true. Uh-huh. He is my soulmate. I have the proof. Just look at my letter. The letter in this envelope is not from the prince. What? I have his letter right here. You switched them. What is going on here? She's pretending to be me. No, Olivia is lying. That letter belongs to me. Your Highness, don't listen to her. She's trying to trick you. She is the one trying to trick you, I swear. Enough. You're under arrest. Leave her alone. Where do you think you're going? Your... Your Majesty. Guards, arrest her at once. No, please wait. Stay still. Is it true you have been lying to my son? I would never. Thank goodness you caught her. How do you know this girl? She's my servant. You're not a servant, right? Truth is, I am a maid, but not by choice. What do you mean by that? That woman is not my mother by blood. She married my father, and then she poisoned him so she could take all his money. Lies? I would never. She did, and she forces me to clean, and so do her daughters. What? We do not. I don't know who to believe. I do. Brielle is telling the truth. Her eyes are innocent. The prince is mistaken. Please, father. I'm asking you to trust me on this, just this once. Release the girl and arrest her family. I believe you, son. What? No. You said this would work, mother. 
Good morning, my love. Breakfast is ready. They made breakfast? For me? Remember, I told you as my wife, you'll never have to cook or clean again. I simply won't allow it. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's just I... I'm not sure I'm fit to be a princess. You're so beautiful that when we first met, I thought you were one. Really? Yes. But more importantly, you have a pure heart which makes you more than deserving to wear that crown. I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm <sighs> sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but... Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well... Yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to her test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure, and we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? 
Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. No. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily, Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me, your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. Oh, well, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. 
But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Our future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? You were right. She is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go. Come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad... I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. Mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. 
why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. And well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my- Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she... She what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked! I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no! <sighs> oh! Oh, my new shoes! That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> Princess, hey, I'm, uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. 
What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek. It's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go. It's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me. We have important business to attend to. Princess. Oh, I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm going to climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, oh. Oh. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent. Figures. Uh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm up. Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you. The queen, she's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is. He's in here, gods. Take him away. Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom, and he was trying to poison the princess. No, stop. Wait, the queen is lying. Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has ten brain no. cells. No, I'm smart now. My brain cells are coming back. I Silence. That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now, or I will have the prince killed. Drink it, or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake. Drink it for real. I can see your brain cells. <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the gods now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing him in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly, dingly. The key! Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping, and shiny thing, so me takey. <laughs> okay, well hurry, unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh! Good. Now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <sighs> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... Oh. Princess. Brain cells, all of them, coming back fast. <sighs> hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, all right? Oh, no, outsmart me. I don't think so. Stop, you can't do this. It's against... I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here, drink this. And this time, it's not a potion. And this time, it's not a potion. You poison this? So what makes you think that I'm going to drink it? I'm willing to trade you, your life, <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please, you were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor. But to show you that I mean business... <laughs> no, Derek... You know how you can save him, dear. You are a monster. People do crazy things. 
to remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No, that a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. <sighs> Uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the prince has lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get here in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, yes princess, princess, as, as you, you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works too. Okay, it's done. The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be all right. But his father from the rival kingdom is here, and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You, your stepmother, kidnapped my son. And you, you saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well... It was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know, um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, hey. I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So, there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Have a rich mom or a rich dad? Well, my dad left when I was eight, so I think we gotta go with Rich Dad. Especially because we need the money. That must be him. Hello. Dad? Huh? No offense, but I expected you to be dressed a little nicer than that. Gee, maybe it's because I'm the postman, not your dad. Sorry. I wonder what's in here. Holy... Mom. What? What is it, honey? I found you a new husband, and we're gonna be set for life. Did you sign me up for a dating show? No, Mom, I picked a rich dad, and just look in this envelope. There's $2,000 in here. I know. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm gonna have a dad again. Oh, honey. This letter shows he's a billionaire. He's never gonna visit us. I bet you that's him. Dad! We're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. Um, look, I can't see or I can't say bad words until I meet my soulmate. Guess you're going blind. What? Why? Oh, honey, you have a potty mouth. I do not. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm gonna prove to you that I can live without cussing. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Surprise attack! Ow! Mother father that hurt! <laughs> Mother father? Why'd you say that? Because I can't cuss, dipshiz. 
I'm telling mom you're trying to say bad Wait, words. Wait, if you don't tell her, I'll uh, give you my favorite teddy bear. Mm, I don't know. Well, I do like that teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom! Frick you! Whoops. <laughs> you little witch! <laughs> witch? Is that the best insult you can do? I can't cuss. Aw, can poor baby not cuss until she meets her soulmate? Oh, fudge off. Dude, she sounds like she's straight out of Disney Channel. <laughs> Oh, ow. Oh, damn it. I am so sorry. It's okay. Ugh. Wait a minute. I just said a bad word. Yeah, so? Well, I'm not allowed to say bad words until I meet my... Soulmate. Share my soulmate's hair color or share my soulmate's eye color. I mean, I just got my highlights done and I don't really want to change it, so I think I'm going to share his eye color. Here goes nothing. Oh, honey, have you looked in the mirror? No, I... <gasps> I thought they were going to give me his eye color, not just one of his eye colors. Hey girl, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? No reason. Then why won't you look me in the eyes? Come on girl, we're besties, we're supposed to tell each other everything. Alright, you caught me, it's because I look like this, okay? Do you have any idea how I can get my eyes back to normal? I'm pretty sure you have to meet your soulmate. But that could take literally forever, I'm just going to keep these on for now. Hey! I am so sorry. It's really hard to see with these on, but having said that, you actually have really pretty eyes. Thank you. You have really nice brown eyes, too. Well, thanks, but one is literally green right now. <laughs> uh, no it's not. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Coffee mushrooms. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you. It's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo! <laughs>
Oh. How are you doing that? Powers detected. Oh. 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 Sissy, stop. FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No use in powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. <laughs> you let her go. You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No. Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But, Dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. Tricked ya. What? Um, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <gasps> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. Alright, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but- Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I- Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and- Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm <sighs> sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm i just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to her test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. 
Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. No. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily! Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Hey, weirdo. Ugh, rude. How many you have left? Only five to go? You do realize the last five are like the hardest to finish. Yeah, well, not for me. Stop! <laughs> hey, Lauren. Yeah, Ugh. how? Sorry, it was for a task. Fine, I understand, but you owe me one now. Yeah, whatever. Get off of me! Gotta complete my task, bruh! Watch out! I think he's gonna throw something! Warning. School is entering red zone. Please help me! Whoa, what happened to you? The tasks, they're... they're getting worse. Everyone here, they're going nuts! Hey, remember when I said you owe me one? Please, put those down. Chill, I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait! Ugh. What are you doing? Look, I had to. Just here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not. Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one.
<laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren, why does my next test say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What does it say for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet. But obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please! Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. 
It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are gonna stay extinct anymore. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl dolls yeah. than you do, You never just any American Girl doll. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranates! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Hi. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right, and you've worked very hard to get here, so don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot, show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark, not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you... Hey, it's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 98? W what's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we- Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! Hey, we made it. 
Oh, thank goodness. I'm really going to miss... Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it, if that's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, Curl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> stay back. <laughs> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. <sighs> Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed, now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. 
Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You! You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words! Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No! Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. 
Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh... I think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. <laughs> there you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. <laughs> there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly! Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... You are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. <laughs> nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. 
This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared. I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're gonna pay the price. Just a few more minutes and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her! Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> and you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. Is a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm going to have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> She's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. It worked! All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you, and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down. You're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um... Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh. Who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of Mom. Well, I kind of, sort of, used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir, she is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no, L let's go. You're not getting that, you're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes and I want this. Sadie? Don't you dare start pro- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <laughs> no, ma'am. Good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <sighs> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker, mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out, come here. 
That was a lot of smoke. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm going to be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would because... Nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> My voice is back on me again. Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> mom, what are these? Oh, honey! Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? 
Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you, Jenny? She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. 
Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks. He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Who are you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna see me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Jenny! She's in love with your gardener. So? 
Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love. Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks. He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Mom, what are these? Oh, honey. Those are magic Easter cookies. I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. And it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna ask me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. They He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you? Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So? Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love- Rich mom or a rich dad? Hey, mom, what's this? It shows you what your soulmate is up to, honey. What does it say? It says that, um, he wants to use the bathroom. Not funny, you have to give him permission. I'm sorry, okay? I hope he hasn't been waiting too long. He's asking for permission to go to school now? That could mean that we're the same age and maybe we'll even bump into each other. What's he been wanting to do? Just the normal stuff, like go to school and use the bathroom. Ooh, what's he asking permission for? Um, he wants to go on a hike. He keeps asking me this over and over again. You are not kidnapping someone. Stop that. Were you just talking about your soulmate? <laughs> no. That's it. No more interacting with him. But mom... I said no. He sounds dangerous. This isn't fair. He was probably just kidding. He wants to come inside my house? I mean, sure. Wait, how does he know where I live?